What's up guys, Sam Adams here and welcome to The Drop, which is a weekly series every single Monday here on the YouTube channel where I uh, choose the top video game releases of the week and keep you guys up to date as to what's coming out just in case you want to pick up something new as well as what of these games are actually worth your buying. And uh, this week is probably one of the most major weeks in video game releases this year and probably I would say within the past half a decade we've got a huge game coming out which is extremely exciting. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, we've got Mad Max coming to the PS4, Xbox One, and PC, which was wisely not necessarily a tie-in to the movie that was released earlier this year. Uh, I went to go see the movie, and it's really, really interesting, and I would recommend checking it out if you're going to be buying this game just for plot's sake and to try and figure out a little bit more about who Max actually is. But you do play as Max, and at the beginning of the game, you get everything taken from you. Your family is gone, your car is gone, and you are pretty much stranded in the middle of desert with nothing but these clothes on your back and so that's where the game starts off and you have to kind of progress you get a car uh, you go ahead and you get some gear and some weapons and throughout the game you upgrade these three things your gear your weapons and your car to try and take on all of your enemies in this desolate wasteland which is a pretty cool concept um being in a post-apocalyptic wasteland there is not much ammo as you would expect from this kind of game uh, so to make up for that there are more melee weapons that you can pick up and really creative stuff think a uh, dead island you know that kind of thing where you've got like giant uh poles with machetes on the ends of it and stuff like that there's some stuff like that in the trailer but it looks pretty cool and it has a combat style that if i'm looking at it correctly looks pretty similar to the batman arkham games which is not a bad thing at all i'm not calling them out for copying the batman games i'm just saying that's a great way to do combat so if you're looking for something that's a little post-apocalyptic or you're a fan of mad max this looks like a pretty good game and it's very highly anticipated considering that a movie tie-in with this game supposedly came out earlier this year so that's not something we normally see and this one might actually be worth your time and again it's coming out on the ps4 xbox one and pc Next up, Grow Home is coming to the PlayStation 4, which earlier this year was actually a surprise hit from Ubisoft Reflections, a, a sub-company of Ubisoft, uh, because they had just come off of the bad publicity from Assassin's Creed Unity, and Grow Home just kind of popped up overnight, became a little cult sensation, and it still is pretty much holding true there today. But PlayStation Plus actually released their new voting system earlier this month, and the players picked to get Grow Home as the PS4's next exclusive PlayStation Plus game, which I think is pretty much the the only one that would have gotten chosen there weren't you know the competitors kind of were not that great but uh grow home you play as bud the botanical utility droid i believe is what it's called and you have this giant ship up in the sky that you're trying to get to and this uh star plant is actually growing out of the middle of the ground and you have to kind of traverse your way up through the leaves and you jump on all these different worlds and you control your arms with two different buttons so it's kind of got that i am bread uh feel to it with a little bit more control it's very uh, whimsical movements and it looks to be pretty fun i actually watched a playthrough of it. it looks pretty cool and i'll be playing it this week on playstation 4 because again it's free so why wouldn't you give it a shot Next up, we've got Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain coming out on the PS4, Xbox One, PC, PS3, and Xbox 360, and this was the game that I was really excited to see this week. Uh, it is actually a prequel to the first Metal Gear game, and it comes nine years after the events of Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes that came out last year to kind of give players a preview of the next Metal Gear Solid. It's like 30 bucks in the store, probably 12 now, and it was a uh, Xbox Live Games with Gold last month, and I think it's still available now at the time of making this video. So you can go check that out. But at the end of that game, spoiler alert, uh, the entire place explodes and Big Boss Snake, the main character that everyone knows, Kiefer Sutherland, goes into a coma and he wakes up nine years later. And uh, so then he becomes the leader of this little uh, militia group and then he takes on several different names. He goes over to Afghanistan and it is one of the best looking games I have ever seen. It looks absolutely beautiful and there's a lot of funny little things thrown around in the midst of all of this serious vibe that uh, Konami and Kojima have going on. But um, as far as gameplay goes, got some great action stealth gameplay. It's probably the best that I've ever seen. And this is actually the first open world action uh, game in this franchise. They haven't ever been open world in the franchise of Metal Gear. So it looks to be pretty cool. And it's definitely going to be in the running for game of the year. It's been getting great reviews all the way across the board. And this might be just one that everyone just has to go out and buy when you get the money. It definitely needs to be on your playlist. But it's coming out this week on the PS4, Xbox One, PC, PS3, and Xbox 3. 
360. Last but not least, we've got Disney Infinity 3.0 coming out on the Xbox One, PS3, Xbox 360, PS4, and PC. Not sure why this one's out on PC, not going to question it, but uh, this is pretty much Disney's version of Skylanders, where you take the little figurines, you clip it down on whatever kind of surface that it comes with, and then those characters or figurines actually get teleported into the game, and you can play around in all of the worlds from everyone's favorite franchises. But what is different about Disney Infinity 3.0 is that they now include Star Wars, they now include a new Marvel Universe, and they now include Disney or uh, Pixar's Inside Out, which is a movie that was a uh, hit earlier this year from Pixar. But it looks to be pretty cool. I mean, it's not necessarily my kind of thing. I really wish they had had this whenever I was a kid because I would have been all over this. But at the same time, it looks to be pretty cool because there are new play sets, like I said, which are pretty much the in-game worlds that uh, I suppose Disney builds into these games. And um, you've got a, an entire world for Star Wars The Force Awakens, several other Star Wars worlds, a uh, Pixar's Inside Out world, and then of course you have your uh, Marvel world that's kind of new. There's a new one out and so it looks to be pretty cool if you have a, uh, you know, maybe a younger relative or you have a young son or daughter that is looking to get into gaming, these are probably the best little things that you can buy for them because not only do you cover the action figures, but you also cover the video games and the entertainment, and there's tons of entertainment to be had with these, and it's very collectible in the long run. So if you're looking to get into Disney Infinity, Disney Infinity 3.0 is coming out later this week on everything under the sun, including PC, which I'm still confused about. So there you guys have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like down below and comment what you think about the games coming out this week. Are you going to be buying uh, The Phantom Pain? Are you going to be picking up Grow Home for free on the PlayStation 4? Or are you really into collecting Disney Infinity things? Which if you are, that's pretty awesome. I have to admit, it's just not something I'm into. But uh, let me know down in the comment section below. And of course, if you are new to the channel or you've never seen any of my other content, I upload new stuff like four or five days a week, so there's always something new on the channel whenever you drop by to watch some videos. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.